So right here, you can see the actual growth hormone spike on one milligram and two milligrams of tesamorelin. So linear plot of mean plasma concentration of growth hormone at one milligram and two milligram. So you can see on the left side, this is the one milligram table. So you see a nice little, nice little spike right there. Um, but the two milligram is much higher. So it's probably tough for you to see, but it looks like it peaks right around, I don't know if that's a 10,000, whatever their metric is, um, versus the two milligram group peaked at almost 14,000 of whatever it is that they actually were measuring the, the actual metric. Mean serum growth hormone concentration, time profile and healthy subject. So it absolutely works. Reading this line right here, growth hormone production as expressed in terms of area under the curve was approximately 68% higher following administration of two milligram dose when compared to the one milligram dose. The maximum growth hormone release was 38% greater for the two milligram dose than the one milligram dose. So two milligrams is what they used in the actual study that we went over, and that does seem to have a more robust effect. So there is a dose dependent effect of this medication.